The only way to truly experience Lunenburg's century-old architecture and all its charm is to stroll the narrow streets by foot. It's just not the same as looking out your vehicle's window. But you don't have to do it alone. Lunenburg Town Walking Tours will gladly be your escort through this historical, geographical and architectural wonder. Lunenburg is quite unique. Uh, what had happened in the town, in a nutshell, a lot of the shipbuilding skills, uh, techniques uh, that were used uh, turn of the century to build uh, the vessels that they were fishing in uh, came ashore. So when we built our homes, when we built our churches, we were using those very same techniques. Um, a lot of the architecture is based on shipbuilding skills. The, the uh, school, uh, the churches, uh, Lunenburg bumps are quite unique to the town. The, uh, the way the town is laid out, the grid system, is unique also. There are also many historic homes in the community that have very distinct features. The Lunenburg bump is unique. Um, if you look at it, uh, it's a dormer that comes out of the roof and it keeps coming. It hangs right out over the front of the house. Uh, they're supported down below with ship's knees or ship's elbows. And that is what is so unique. Uh, some of them hang so far out over the house, uh, so far out of the sidewalk that you can walk beneath them. Um, and that's a Lunenburg bump. Uh, the purpose was to increase the size of the upper floor, more light, more living space. You can actually stand in this bump and look up and down the street. The architecture has changed very little over the years. Uh, there uh, are so many houses that uh, are intact, that are as they were when they were built. Uh, a lot of the old colors, the old somber, dark colors. Uh, it's, it's a very picturesque town. If you don't think you'll be able to keep up with the tour of people, not to worry. Eric says he goes as fast as the slowest person, and he caters lunch if you want him to. I walk with one, or 71, uh, and here again it's a very easy walk, so uh, young or old, and uh, all year round. Uh, during the summer months I work on a schedule uh, various times throughout the day. I have a, a candlelight tour at night, and during the off season I work by reservation. Did we mention Eric also tells ghost stories on his tours? Yes, I have a favorite, and uh, she's buried just down here in the, in the cemetery. Little girl, and uh, in a nutshell, she, she died of a broken heart. And there's actually a tombstone uh, in wrought iron with a broken heart on it. There's a beautiful story behind it. If you want to learn about the story, you'll just have to join Eric on one of his walks. You can reserve a walking tour by checking out their website at www.lunenburgtownwalkingtours.com With all there is to see in Nova Scotia, it's a popular place for our viewers to visit again and again. One of the more famous personalities to fall in love with the beautiful surroundings was Alexander Graham Bell, best known throughout the world as the inventor of the telephone. But Bell fathered many other inventions too. One of them, a sailing vessel known as the Elsie, has become a famous attraction of Bradore Lake. You'll find it off to the eastern tip of Nova Scotia on Cape Breton Island. And you can get there by heading east of Lunenburg along Highway 104. The Elsie is a two-mastered yawl, designed and constructed specifically for the wind and waves of the Bradore Lake. Welcome aboard Elsie and welcome to the village of Bedeck. Uh, Elsie was formerly built for Alexander Graham Bell and launched in 1917. And uh, we're going to go out for a sail on the beautiful Bradore Lakes this afternoon. If you're all set, we'll raise sail and we'll, we'll head out. Okay, Sarah, we're ready to put the mainsail up now. 68 feet to the top of the mast. I hope you had breakfast this morning. Tall. It's going to get heavy. Don't be fooled. It seems light now, but it's a long way up there. Hoisting the sails, tightening the windward stays, and slacking off the leeward, and the Elsie is champing at the bit to head out into deep water. Good thing we're doing this with a skipper along. The experience is a far cry from cruising down the highway. The Bradour is in an inland sea, stretching over 1,100 square kilometers. Those who love to sail it claim it offers the best experience anywhere, and the Elsie was built to make the most of it. Well, Elsie was built just down in this cove here in Benbrea in 1917. And she was actually, uh, they started her construction in 1914, but the Bell Labs were busy with the lifeboat projects and, and war-related projects. So Elsie took a little longer to build than what's typical. In, on a September day in 1917, she was launched. 
and actually the owners weren't present but uh, Dr. Bell and his wife Mabel were present and uh, we actually have a copy of a letter that that Mabel sent to her daughter Elsie for whom the boat was built and for whom the boat is named and uh, her husband Dr. Grosvenor explaining that they had had a lovely picnic on board Elsie that day. The Elsie was restored to its original grandeur in 1992. Improvements included a new deck and planking and renovations to the interior. A sail on this beautiful craft is the only way to experience the wonder of the Brador. We have a lot of different packages on LC and the, the beauty of it, I guess, when, when we arranged uh, the packages and, and set a boat on a, on a mission and something that we could do with LC, we wanted to use her as, a, as an attraction or as an enhancement for our properties and for the area. Uh, we've only been in, in it two years now and we're still at the stage where we're trying to custom tailor our packages. We're really looking to see what the client wants. We have a great degree of flexibility, uh, partly because we're so associated with the resorts and partly because we have such a large boat, such a large staff and such a large lake, it really gives us a lot of freedom. The beauty of, of an attraction like Elsie is that it gives you a chance to see a different perspective. You drive along the highway and you look out at the, at the scenery and you look out at the lake and, it, and it's all very beautiful and very attractive, but an opportunity to get onto a vessel and get out and look back at that view gives everything a, a whole new perspective. You're here, you've spent the time and the, and the money and made the commitment to get here, but you're only seeing half the picture unless you can actually get out on the water and see it.